much true. Mickey and fans didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shopping, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. Having lived by the gun, well, fans owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the new old desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank, had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster was liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! Alright, you examine it. And it'll it tell you that it's supposed to be the the case and then you talk to Prince Lou. Just mose you on over to the display case and you'll see it playing as day. Quite a face that gun. Mint condition, never fired. Yeah, thirty out of fifty science. Have you gone local partner? I can see the gun with my own three books. Alright, so once you get up to 50 signs, you can come back here, and then I think you can unhack him. Maybe I'll grab that when I get the other, um, thing that makes it so you get double points, that way I'll have 20 signs instead of 10. Yeah, so it is her. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Because that'll kill you dead. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about friends, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Alright, I think the deputy was here, but I think he took off somewhere. Wait, yep, that might be him right there. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. The problem is, there's still no law in front. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who will settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. 
Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the... The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Wait, hold on. Luck finding a well, a deputy isn't much good without a sheriff. So I figured I'd come in here and protect these good people until someone finds us a new one. Any luck finding a suitable... I do think... Well, I reckon he could be a sheriff if he had the skills to reprogram him. There you go. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recall, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. It's not like he was about to say skull fucking for a second. Yeah, I will. Just after, you know, I steal a few things. Have butt sex with your wife. You know, all that fun stuff. And stealing your sunset spots for out. Because, you know, get you bottle caps. Oh knows I have bad karma. Whatever shall I do? Okay, we're gonna pick this door. But I'm gonna save it and go inside. I had a few times where it's messed up and um, what's it called? Like, got me. and people try to kill me and that was not a very good thing okay let's go check out some of these safes uses like one or two you can crack like this one and who doesn't want free money all right I'm gonna start this again Yay, especially when you level up from it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sometimes you only get perks every two levels. That's right. That's what I hated about perks. I don't know why I took the scrap metal since it's useless to me now. What a wall. Spike knuckles. Don't howdy me, you're scaring me. This is the last one, it seems. It's a 12 gauge round, it's a 10 millimeter round. Oh god, lag. Doesn't seem to be any bottle caps here. At least something I can see. I think there's only one open safe with stuff in it. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you hold tab, you can light stuff up like that. So you can see better. I forgot all about that. Alright, let's get out of here before someone decides they want to kill me. I can't do this anymore. 
Let's go see what I can repair. Oh my god, I can like repair all of this. Yay, I got a challenge. Okay, so that should be it for this area. Oh wait, no, there's this cash register place. It's very nice. Let's see. Oh crap, I was detected too. That would have sucked. There's not much else you can steal from here. I think there might be a prim globe that I'm missing. I think they have like a globe for every area or some crap like that. Oh no! Ah! Why you do that? No, bad. Ah, fuck, now I gotta do this all over again. Okay, I'm gonna skip this 